Ah, now. Space Shuttle. You know, Franklin sold over 40 of these, I think. But this one's the nicest one. Till the next one. Till the next one, that's right. Actually, they've done a little extra here. We have super bright so We'll do a lot LEDs. extra on the next one. Well, yeah, we'll Put a little on this one, and then we'll do a little. overboard on the next one. Isn't now look, it's spelling out Space Shuttle. Isn't that clever? This was the first game using Williams' new board system. And it was able to do extra things like that, in addition to being a terrific game. But we've punched up, see how these light up now? These panels with a super bright. We've also uh, put in a light in the space shuttle. Decals are perfect. Game is beautiful. Steven did work his magic. He had to do some repainting, as on most of the space shuttles, the game got such heavy play. But he didn't have to do anything with this beautiful back glass. Look at this glass. It's like perfect. Like everything we sell. Super brights, orange and white. Mm -hmm. We have warm white here, it gives it a little extra color to the planet. And then these are lighting the, the uh, engines, the tail engines there. And we are still using 63s. Believe it or not, 63s were used only on, I think, four pinballs, the first four in the system. And they're actually brighter than LEDs. The 63 bulbs are really bright. Now, Logic Board has our button battery cell. The customer can change that at will with no problems. Uh, we have our rebuilt power supply here. No, it doesn't use this fuse. And look, it even tells you that. Not used. Okay? Not used. The flipper board is over here. So they started using this flipper board, I think with... Is it the Black Knight? Black Knight. So the Black Knight separate rectifier, that? 50 volts to that, to that, uh, those coils. Full 50 volts. And of course... Not a partial the, uh, 50? No. Capacitors a go-go, and 50. we also change these uh, resistors here, and these are the smaller package high voltage caps that Bob Roberts made just for me. We have ordered hundreds from Bob already, hundreds of them. You're very familiar with small packages, aren't you? Yeah, boom. Oh. It's insubordination. Actually, it doesn't. Insubordination. And of course, Space Shuttle is one of the true classic games that has so many terrific shots, an opportunity to get instant locks. The locks are always lit. And look at this beautiful lighting effect. The super bright Let lighting effect. We get our super flash. See those 63 flashing rarely away? Now, here's a neat thing. After you load, of course, you've got your lighting change up here for USA, okay? Every time you do that, okay, it advances this here. Now watch, if you hit this target, you have an opportunity for instant multi-ball. You don't have to lock a second ball. You can just roll up this lane. <laughs> so we just have to roll up this lane. And it counts down, and there we go. There, look at that. Isn't that nice? Now look, the stop and score. Isn't that some nice little light show here? We've got whatever the stop and score is lit at the time, see? Okay, you, just, you don't know where it's going to stop. Sharp. Now, once you drain your one ball, this, this is up two to help you, but once you drain your ball, the, game, the um, stop and score is still running. It's pulsing. Look. And then that's the end of it. And you're back to normal. Your, your air. See? That opens up there. Now, look. See this flipper? This is really nice. They've angled these three targets, so in one shot, you can technically get all three down. It opens your airlock again, and then it advances your spin. See, now I'll get 3,000 every time I roll, each time you each roll. A nice, hefty score. Boy, what a great game. Now, I love this lane because this changes what your shuttle will score. Watch. 50,000, okay? Hit it again. Now, of course, the key is bonus hole error plus plus 50,000 is a very nice feature. But if you're still not happy with it, shoot the target again until it lands on something you like. 100,000, do you like that? No, finish spelling shuttle. Okay. You know, uh, you're talking back to me. Now, the bell indicated 
talking back to me. Talking. I got my hundred thousand and look. It's moved to the extra ball. So if I spell shuttle again, I get an extra ball. Now, could Williams possibly have packed more stuff into this game? Unbelievable. Packed with stuff. That's why these rarely to come back in trade. And we have gotten, a, I guess, Frank, we have gotten a few of them back over these. Look at the cabinet, please. So we've got to move on to the next game. Beautiful. Yes, it is. Beautiful. Thanks to Stephen. Thanks to Stephen. That's Stephen. Look. Actually, we're going to show you this next. We're going to do Space Shuttle. But look, air, uh, we want to get this out of here. Here's an Area 51 Site 4. Now, brand new guns. We always give our customers brand new guns. Gorgeous picture. Super sharp. This is a dedicated cabinet, okay, for... Uh, I guess this started its life out as an Area 51, probably. No, it was a Site 4. You think it was a Site 4? It was. It was a Site 4 side art on it. Okay. We have the side art was so tattered and torn. We have a high gloss black finish on it now. Back here, the Wells Garner. Um, oh! <laughs> Has uh, new capacitors in it, obviously. Now, this is a new hard drive. We can't so far get a flash ROM to work. Flash on this here, can we? So, so we're going to try some different we're adapters. Try some different to see what adapters. Works. So, consequently, we have a new drive in there. And it's a local sale, so if he has a problem, we can easily change the drive. I saved the original drive. I can always re-image it if I have to. You know we love... Oh, you're right. Look. A factory Ireland. from Center City, Ireland. We have some Ireland viewers. Hello. Anthony. Anthony Heavey. You're from Ireland, right? In the family. Yes, you are. Yeah, I was thinking about that. Hello. The whole family watches us. I think they watch it mainly for me. Talk about salt setting. Oh, did you guys see this? Look. You remember that flash board? You can, the the space shuttle's ready. Uh, we have given the job to this poor man. Now, let me explain. Flash Gordon. Time to use that vacation, video. huh? We got in the things. ugliest, <laughs> most horrible Flash Gordon ever. It was full of rat's nests, or mouse nests. We never had so many before. I like that song, Summer Breeze. Anyway, anyway, you didn't like that dance, did you? No. You wonder why you can't get a TV show. Well, well here's the neat thing. Because I let Jason make most of the decisions on this. Uh, My decision yeah, was to break it apart and burn it. To the well, ground. yeah, the game was pretty bad. The game was pretty bad. You're going to see a full video of that later. Oh, we but can't wait. The, the man that brought the machine to me to be restored, he'd already paid for it. He paid $800 for it. But he had to drive. Straight unseen. Straight unseen. So, anyway, he found on eBay another Flash Gordon, but it was parts. We don't know why the guy took all this stuff apart. But he, he was able to buy the play field because the other one had mouse urinating all over it. Rust. Rust. So what he did is, uh, he was local. We went and picked up the play field. While we were there, he said, do you want to buy the, the body and head? I said, yeah. Now, there's problems. There's problems. He had already taken all the wires out of it. And then he cut wires. I don't know why. The, the board he had, Yes, he was bored. He took all the boards out. But we have a whole set of boards. But the wood, we have these. Do we have all three pieces? Yes. Okay, we have the wood. Uh, so Jason and Steve looked at the two cabinets, and they decided this cabinet was definitely the one to save out of the two. Yeah, there's no rat piss on this one. That's, that's a good thing, too. You need to get by, young man. Listen, I have the public. You're trying to work? Somebody What's the matter with you? Upset. They said they were upset because I called him an imbecile. I think it was, or is it stupid, or something. And they said, I should publicly apologize. So, officially, officially, I publicly apologize for calling you an imbecile, you idiot. Was that supposed to be funny? He said you, nobody's laughing. Let me know when the jokes are going to start coming. He, do you understand, everybody's playing a role. Now, for instance, I do this. I do this. And I do this. Did you see that? I'm going to come over there and tune you Get up, Stephen. And look, at any time of the day, I can walk over to Wallace, Wallace, spin around. At any time of the day, you have to right now. These people are watching. Here, spin around. At any time of the day, we can stop 
and do a dance. Ready? Here we go. Ready, go. Any time. Oh, stepping, huh? You can put stepping out that door. I think it's time we move on, isn't it? Well, look, a pair of these wonderful games are going out uh, to a man who's trading in. Actually, we're getting back two Arctic Thunders. So every few years he does a trade in. So these are linked up. Uh, Bally Midway made these in 97. And look, off-road challenge. Is it related? Yes, it is. The off-road, the Ivan Stewart off-road. This is the final arcade version of the off-road games taken to new heights, the Midway way. To sit down and cut with drivers. The Midway. The Midway way, right, Donovan? And once again, you can shift, you can have fun, whatever you want to do. Great game, isn't it, Jonathan? It's the best. <sighs> Super heavy. Everything we sell is the best, right? It's the best until the next game comes in. But look, what we had to do is pretty these up. Now, I am an expert in getting prettied up. As you see, I got all dressed up today for the filming, you see? They only have four pounds of food crumbs in your shirt to the fire. Now, wait a minute. Let me show you what I had for this morning. Poached eggs, hash browns. For lunch, I had sea, uh, seafood salad. And down here is soup. Wonton soup. What about pretzel, candy bars, and like remnants of a Snickers bar? Oh, that's a standard stuff. Uh, oh, wait a minute. You have to have hair to have Oh. Uh, now, look. Back here. Oh, gosh, Frank. You're never going to come back here. I can. Now watch. Oh, 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 oh. That's great. Scratch up the paint. Oh, Scratch up the paint. Did I unplug one? You unplugged it. You idiot! <coughs> Alright, now. Oh, yes we did. We did unplug it. Where That's is wee, Where shit. the heck was this plugged in? Oh, over here. Okay, listen. Yeah. Get out of my way, you... Televisions have been rebuilt. We've also put new power supplies on Everett. We've got the computer. Computer grade on the bottom. And we've changed the batteries, just like we always do with these games. Now, the steering, amplifier and steering board, you have to reflow solder on these connectors. They, they have to be redone, even the ribbon cable. Now, these are connected by way of the television cable. Is that what that is, Frank? Yeah. It's a TV antenna. You run up to your roof and get channel 6. Television cable. Frank. Jonathan, will you set your rear end in there? And Boom. Please. Thank you. Here, come on. We'll, we'll play together. Yes. Yeah. Of course. Oh! Has force feedback. Now, we'll program it. We got tremendously wonderful sound. Now, of course, you can change your truck. You can change it by pressing there. I'm going to be automatic, of course. I don't have time to shift. Now we can also pick out different records in the radio player. I'm off. Now look, I'm ahead of Jonathan. Ha-ha! Feedback on these is great. They, they had a real simple system for feedback. Gosh, we went off-road. Don't know the name of the game. Well, we went off road. We're not on the highway anymore. That creep is ahead of me. I didn't know we were going to go off the highway. <coughs> Jonathan, oh, you have to pick up stuff. Just like an off road, you have to try to pick up little bits and bobs along the way. Uh oh. What a mess. Look at this. I'm so catching up to Jonathan. In a few months. Oh, then I'll be able to do my song again. Oh, I just picked up 40,000. Jonathan is still... Oh! Right into the wall. I thought this might have had a... Uh... 
Oh. No. Are you looking at Jonathan's screen too? No. Oh. Right into that tree. Fortunately, I'm in I'm in a nice four-wheel drive, and I'm only damaging a few things. How am I doing, Frank? So great. Well, I've almost caught up to Jonathan. I you Hold on. Oh. oh. Well, I'm done with this. It's a stupid game. Listen, there are four uh, courses, six courses, and there are three unlockable tracks as you get better at it. And I think our customer will. He's also getting the video you saw earlier, the Area 51 Site 4. He's getting that to come back here. Frank, can you squeeze me? Oh, oh, oh. Boys, you can wrap these up, please. Look. Now, what the hell are you doing? Leaning on top of my NBA jam? No, you should be leaning on that one back there. Just gotta Ladies get out of here. Out. Look what they're doing to my asteroids. Yes. It's all coming off because, because we have... Game, right? Yeah, we have a... Yeah, we could, we could give this to the competitor, right? No, we actually have new cider coming. And Joe is coming down on Thursday to put it on. We did do this one. He's going to put it on? Yeah. He's coming Thursday night. He's making it and he's putting it on. Hey, man. Get, hey, out, get that like off of me. I, I, don't, I, don't, I, don't, love you. I don't got my... You don't want to see him. You I don't see got you. my five minutes of fame. Well, five minutes, five <laughs> seconds of fame. Wallace, if you're not careful, I'll ask you to dance again. Uh, let me go. Centipede, new overlay. God, this play is beautiful. We have back here, Frank, come back here. Um, of course, we've rebuilt the power supply capacitor. Um, another centipede. Gosh, Frank, how many of these? 60, 50, 60, 70. Let me check my pocket. Let me see, do we Database. have anything? Going out and recycling? No, just cans, aluminum cans. We put some monitors out and they got taken really quick. It's really nice to recycle them. These are not being recycled. These are hopefully going to be reused. Recycled into a game? Why is this place so full of stuff? Anyway. More stuff going out. Oh, you know what? I want to show you right now this home video system. But the guy from Pizza Hut brought over to see if we could sell for him. We're going to look it up. Let's go in now and look at this. Now look here. Allies smash new hit. The name of the game. The name of the game. What is this? Look at this thing. Come in closer again. Look. This is a home game system. And look at this. Everything neat, nice and neat. The wires for each controller in the back. This has got to be worth a fortune. See, so four of you can play. From what I researched, 1976 is when this system came out. And this switch, this big switch, actually switched your TV. You hook this up to the television. Then you hook up your antenna here to this one. Okay? It has the little alligator clips. Well, one's missing. But then, you could switch between your TV and the game. There's enough cable, so this could be on top of your TV or behind it. And there's enough cable here for this to go up front. And look, this slide switch, this is, look at that giant switch. That lets you go two or four player. And there's not one, not two, not three, but four wonderful games to play. Target, handball, hockey, and tennis. And then, you, of course, you use the dial o here to play. What a game. And... It also comes with a battery or a power pack. Look at that. I bet you've never seen anything like the likes of that. The Allied Corporation made 25,000 of these, or they were going to. They sold 17,000, uh, and then a bunch of them sat, and it was a disaster. It was, they did get rid of a bunch of them, but by 78, I think that's when Allied Leisure went out of business. Um, this is the same people, believe it or not, that made... Uh, the home division went closed. Uh, Centauri's uh, Phoenix. Allied, Allied and Centauri, all in Florida. But uh, this is their one home game system. 
It's actually clever when you think about it, how that hangs on there. Now, offers. What's it worth? The guy that brought it in wants a fortune for it. A fortune. He's thinking he, he was hinting about buying a Bentley. He's actually working the camera. And he doesn't want his wife to know he's selling it. <laughs> I think he wants to keep the money. Do you, young man? Mm. <laughs> ah, anyway, it's got to be worth money. Does it? Anyway, I think what we'll have to do is find a television and hook it up. So obviously we will hook it up to a TV and make sure it works. But we need to have offers, cash offers. What, what is that? Is that the list? I, I kept thinking that was a speaker. That's just the holder to keep all the wires out of the way, just so you know. There's nothing special about that. What's this? What's this? Oh, that's the that's the antenna. Okay, that's been so long since I've seen this. And it looks like there's another jack here for something else. I'm not sure. Anyway, we're gonna move on. Do you remember that haunted house? Yes, it's the one Larry bought, and we shipped to him, and then we made the funny video. At least I hope it was funny of us delivering it to his haunted house. Well, he got the neat-looking topper. Look at that. That's the topper made for America's Most Haunted. And you can order them. And he bought it for his game. And he, I think it fits perfect. What do you think? Pretty nice stuff, huh? Well, Larry, enjoy your game. And good night to everyone. And we'll see you with another video tomorrow. Now hit the road!